Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to create a summer themed art journal page in my jelly journal. And here you see me preparing my main images. I want to use the holiday houses from um, the Happy Place stamp set and I'm stamping them with waterproof ink. I'm using Stazone to watercolor paper. I'm usually using the Canson XL paper for stamping because it's a very heavy paper and it's pretty smooth so stamping on it is easy and I'm going to color them in. I believe I will use uh, watercolor pencils. The journal that I'm working in is a handmade journal from Jelly Prints and the cover is made from a Tyvek envelope. I will link up the tutorial for this journal at the end of the video. I'm just searching for um, a good double spread where I want to use the houses on. I'm searching for a spread that has similar colors on both sides and not too much going on. And finally I just decided to pick this one as I think it looks more like a landscape and matches the houses very well. I think this could be like a beach and the sea behind it and the right page could be like a um, sunset. So I think it's a nice background for a holiday page. I now add some collage on the bottom to create a little scene and therefore I'm using a jelly printed book page. It's just a messy print where I tried something out, but I usually keep those papers because you often can use them um, for collages. What I also like about the book paper is that it's pretty thin and it doesn't build up too much on the page and that's always good if you have a journal that is kind of a zine style like this. I just use a simple glue stick to stick down the papers. I now want to stamp the houses directly to the pages because um, they have many details around and I can't cut those details out with a scissors and so I just stamp it to this spread and then I will glue my house that I have stamped previously onto this image and I don't have to cut out the palm for example. For stamping on jelly prints I usually always use days on ink because it dries the fastest and as I have already something going on on the left side behind this page I'm using a foam, a piece of foam to just um, get a smooth surface for a good stamp impression.
to create some texture on the background I'm using some of my texture stamps. This is one from the pencil mark stamp set and I think this wavy border is perfect for um, the ocean so I think it's pretty nice and I've used ink that matches the background so I picked a blue ink. That's what I love about the jelly journal. You have already so much going on on the pages that you don't need much time to create a spread and that is something that you can do just in the evening when you don't have much time and you want to create something then you just can use such a journal and quickly create a lovely spread. I decided to stamp something for the sky on the right side because it's pretty empty and I used a moon and sun stamp from the celestial stamp set and I would just stamp it to the watercolor paper. And to have some more texture on this side of the pages, I will use the journal word stamp just as a background stamp. Here I'm using a archival ink because I don't have this color in stays on. Um, with archival you have to wait a little longer until it's dry. So it's easier to smear it. And while this ink is drying, I will color in my images that I have stamped and I believe I will use watercolor pencils. It's a while that I've created this page. Yes, I'm using watercolor pencils. I think I will speed up this process a little because it can become really really long and I don't want to bore you. A while ago I bought myself the Albrecht Dürer watercolor pencils from Faber-Castell and I really love them. I had the Koinor before and I also like those. Um, but I feel they are really highly pigmented, the Faber-Castell, and you don't need much. I don't use them very often, just sometimes in my sketchbook or to color in stamps, so I believe I will have them forever. I'm not a typical stamp coloring person. I see so many lovely colored stamps out there, especially on Instagram. And I always think, oh my god, how beautiful is that? I don't have the patience to do that. I prefer to just do this pretty quickly. You can have a look at my info box, you will find it on the top right corner of your video screen. There I have linked up the stamp sets I've used and also some other videos that are a bit similar to this one and you might be interested in. And as always you will find a blog post linked up in the video description where you can have a close up look at the finished spread.
after everything was dry I cut out the houses and also the moon and there are some details I have to cut out with a um, cutting tool because it's very intricate and I think that's also something you don't want to watch me doing so I will skip this step I don't want to see that the images are cut out and so I'm painting the white edges of the paper with a dark marker. This is the Arteza Twee marker and I'm using a really dark green. Now it's time to glue everything down. I'm using just some normal craft glue for this. I think a glue stick would be not um, good enough to hold this heavy paper. And you see that I have cut away the palm from this house because it's very um, detailed. And so I just have this directly stamped to my background. And I will use a Posca paint pen later to bring the tree um, a bit more in the foreground. I'm using a green Posca pen and redraw the palm. I think the house needs a bit of a shadow and I scribbled some black neo color to my glass plate and then I come in with a brush and pick the color up just to add the shadow to the bottom of the houses. I also decided that my sky needs some stars and I will add some white splatters. I just um, protect the houses because I don't want to have splatters on them. I feel my spread also needs a sentiment and therefore I'm stamping one that is also on the Happy Place stamp set and I just stamp it with black ink to the watercolor paper. I cut out the birds in both ways. Um, I let them together and I will also cut them separated from each other to see what fits the page better.
And I really like that sentiment. It says home is not a place, it's a feeling. And that's, I feel it's really true because um, I have places where I really feel at home even if it is not my home. But I'm also glad that my home feels like a home. And I decided to pick the ones that I have cut apart so I can put one um, line to each of the pages. And finally, I will adhere my celestial element to the sky of the page. And I think it's pretty nice because the sun looks uh, to the page that has the beach on it and the moon is on the page where the sun is going down. Yes, and that's my page for today. All I'm doing is adding a little bit of color to my sentiment because it's so white against the other um, things on my page and I just used a new color crayon. I believe it's a really light Naples yellow and just cover up the sentiment a little bit. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope we will see us next time. I wish you a wonderful weekend. Bye!